Titanic gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose Red Bandana Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here And another best ways to collect video uh, apparently, after I did my Switch one, I got some decent feedback and people wanted to see uh, other consoles, so I will be bringing you more of these. And with everything that's not happening in the industry lately, you're going to get more until you don't want any more, and then I'll bring you other stuff. But right now, apparently, I didn't think that uh, this console would win. But I did have other ones saying, um, hey, Dreamcast. I'll do a Dreamcast. And it almost, almost got beaten out by Super Nintendo. And uh, I'll bring you that one soon. Uh, no, sorry, Nintendo 64. But that is best ways, well, you know, to collect for GameCube. Now, GameCube is a little tough. Why is GameCube tough? Because it's so dang expensive. So, I'm not, I, I can't really suggest certain ways like I did with the Switch because. GameCube, you see, I don't even have the largest collection. GameCube has been pretty tough in terms of prices. I've been collecting GameCube for about... Well, started collecting GameCube again... About four years ago now. And that's all I've been able to amass. Um, one thing I would say, keep an eye out for deals. Because nowadays, GameCube games are getting harder to find and the prices are going up. When I started uh, recollecting, getting my collection back together and picking up um, GameCube games, it was mainly the ones I had emotional or some kind of nostalgic ta uh, attachment to. Uh, specific games like uh, other people wanted. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles is a good example. Uh, Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. So games like Crazy Taxi, even though I originally had it on the Dreamcast, I got the GameCube version. And when I worked at uh, GameStop, Crazy Taxi had just came out uh, on the GameCube. I had just gotten hired a few weeks before. Um, it was actually before the GameCube launched. We had the demo unit in the store. It was maybe a few weeks ahead of time, and that's what we had on it, uh, on the demo. And needless to say, when it came out, I hopped all over it. But uh, yeah, that's why I collected for uh, the GameCube. I started with games that meant something to me. Other games like Fantasy Star games. Episodes 1 and 2, Episodes 1 and 2 Plus, and Fantasy Star 3. I actually have two copies of Fantasy Star 3. One sealed and one open. So... That's what I usually tell people to go with, but games like these are rather expensive now, especially these two. Uh, this one, sadly, is an original box. When I found it, it was just the disc, but it was half price. So I did pick it up, uh, and I'm gonna get to that picking up loose discs uh, for the GameCube as well. Then I picked up that one, and that as well, still sealed. So, the easiest way to pick up GameCube games is just buy them when you can find them. Um, it's really the only way to do it these days. But buying in lots on eBay seems to be a very effective way, but it's going to be expensive uh, if you're looking for the good stuff. But if you're looking uh, for filler titles, like a lot of the sports games and stuff, you'll, you'll get them pretty easily. And for... A reasonable price because even the sports games seem to be a little more expensive these days. What I like to tell people is go to your local game stores. Go to, you can even check Goodwill. Uh, if you haven't seen it again, I know I reference him again, uh, again but tr uh, look at Retro Rick. He's found some in flea markets and I think he even found, I think it was Fight Night Round 3 at uh, a Goodwill. So you never know what you can find there, but they're really, really scarce there. Um, GameStop used to sell them and then they pulled them from their site. They just redid their 
their sight and it's in yeah good luck um they almost never have anything uh a great site and i actually bought games from them multiple times and done videos on it take a look at east starland eastarland.com has a number of classic and retro consoles at fairly decent prices and you can get games in box or loose but most people don't want loose but these days with gamecube i say pick up what you can get why because there's still value in loosey uh games just discs only i think i have uh no 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 yep right here i know people are gonna go nuts when they see it but i don't have any extra uh cases but i have a few discs right here and i keep them in the bag keep from getting dust and scratches and i can't find any extra cases for them but i have resident evil 4 preview disc i have resident evil 0 disc 2 not 1 uh and then these two i got when i was working at gamestop and i still have them which apparently these are rather expensive uh, interactive multimedia demo disc version 12 and 14 and these did come with cases back in the day but usually they throw out the demo uh, the, the box or something at my old store and just keep these in there sometimes the Nintendo rep would keep them or take them back otherwise he'd just give them to me if I was there at the time but those are the ones I was able to pick up and as you can see I keep them in a plastic bag to keep them from getting scratched until I find a match or I can get some other boxes because even regular DVD cases are hard to find. Uh, like the, they're, they're not as easy as you used to uh, be able to get them. And on Amazon, they've shot up in price for some reason. I think it's because of the plastic or whatnot, but I don't know. Um, so what I normally tell people, if you can find GameCube games loose, and it's one you want, pick them up. They're still gonna have a value. Make yourself a box like I did. I have bought some games and I used uh, different artwork for Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. For example, I have the disc and I was only able to get this. I think I got this at like around 10 to $12. And uh, I'm not, actually, I'm not sure what it's gone up to now, but I know it's more than double in price. So I used uh, an image that was uh, created not the original box art but a box art that I liked nonetheless I've done it with uh, 007 Nightfire as you can see what I do is I print my own artwork on games that I can't not find but I managed to get the disc or something like that usually you can get the disc for dirt cheap I still can't find I know it's not that hard of a uh, not that expensive of a game but 007 Nightfire I haven't been able to find complete in box uh, even without the the manual I'll take just the original box I cannot find it but when I was able to get the disc which I think was one of those that I bought uh, from GameStop and they sent me a ton of games without disc. I figured that would happen. Lo and behold, it did. So collecting for uh, the GameCube is, is a tough, tough thing. But check eBay listings. The easiest ones to, to do are uh, bulk lots because then you might be able to get some uh, that you don't have. And if you get some that you already have, you can use them as trade fodder or sell them off or whatever you need to get uh, ones that you don't have. Now, unfortunately, specific games like F-Zero GX and Animal Crossing uh, have shot up in value. Uh, they're, they're close to the point of almost unattainable uh, out, in the, out in the wild. But if you can, you'll be able to buy them at game stores for around $50 to $80 a piece depending on what the market says at the time. Uh, when I bought this, it was about 25. When I bought this, it was 20. Now, this is another thing that I want to address. A lot of people do not like the yellow of the player's choice. The player's choice copies are usually valued higher because they were shorter and lower print runs 
than your standard ones. So there's going to be less of the yellow, more of the black, and believe it or not, these have more value. So if you're looking to have a higher value GameCube collection, go after player's choice. But one thing I, I do tell people, don't scoff at a player's choice. Do not scoff if that's the only one. Go, ooh, go, ooh, a little more value. Just look at it that way. Look at it positive. But if you really want to complete the, the collection or just collect in general, don't scoff at these. These are great pickups if you can get them. And there's all kinds of games, even some that aren't super expensive in uh, player's choice, which go up in value, like uh, Tony's Haw Tony Hawk's American Wasteland or Need for Speed Underground. So you've got plenty of great choices out there that you can get um, at a lower price and still fill out your GameCube collection. So <sighs> eBay, eBay. The local game stores, online game retailers such as East Starland are great, great options in order to fill out a GameCube collection. But GameCube is really expensive right now. It is the, uh, of that generation, I think that was the, are we at the, we're at the ninth generation. So eight would be Xbox One, Xbox 360 would be seven, six. So this is the sixth generation of consoles. They've rather gone up in price compared to PS2. PS2 is still pretty cheap, but some of the games are starting to shoot up. Uh, we're just barely seeing that with the original Xbox now, but uh, don't be surprised if you see those skyrocket in price in the next five to ten years where it becomes almost GameCube levels. But I'll touch over those, uh, touch over, <laughs> touch on those in uh, other or future collection videos. But now if you're looking at buying uh, GameCube hardware, hardware is still pretty inexpensive. If you're going for North American, the standard uh, indigo, black, or silver, they're still roughly sitting around 80 to $120, depending on the condition. Um, there are, well, there are, Boxed ones are, we won't touch boxed ones because boxed ones get even more expensive depending on the variation like the, the Pokemon XD. But uh, Japanese uh, consoles seem to be more expensive here in the States. There are other uh, controller options. Controllers, standalone GameCube controllers uh, are a little more expensive, but they do have third party options that look like GameCube controllers, like identical but don't don't even feel like it you know, once you get in your hand you go ooh, and you realize it's not gamecube uh quality not nintendo quality but you always have those options in order to replace your standard gamecube controllers uh with that being said that's about it unless you're going for um accessories like the game boy player but that's for game boy advance and gamecube that crosses the line uh, that we'll probably touch on in a Game Boy Advance collection video or how to, best ways, whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Yes, I'm going to interject here before I end the video that uh, one thing I forgot to mention. Yes, you can buy Japanese import discs. You can do that. But there's a problem. They don't play on US GameCubes. You have to get your system modded. There's a chip that can do it, and then you also know have to know how to speak Japanese. Most of these games that have the story-driven ones, unless you're getting fighting ones, are really hard to play if you don't speak Japanese. I do have a couple, but mainly because I like the games, and I got them really dirt cheap. But there you go. Make sure you take a look out for imports, but again, you need to have a modded GameCube. But GameCube, GameCube is pretty straightforward. I know, I know you guys wanted to hear some secrets. Some, oh, this is how you get them for cheap, or this is how you get a ton. No, there there really isn't a way. Um, just keep an eye out. Uh, the internet's going to be a big friend. eBay, again, check East Starland. Uh, that has been my best uh, online resource for GameCube stuff. Your local game stores. Small mom and pop uh, game stores. <sighs> yeah, I've even tried consignment shops and pawn shops and 
uh, I, I guess flea markets and I in the last five six years I've really been unsuccessful there um, that's about it that's all I can really say so hopefully you guys got some kind of awesome takeaway out of this video like don't sleep on players choice don't sleep on uh, Lustis pick them up because God knows you might have the one someone's looking for and they don't mind with a loose disc and you can trade or you can sell or something like that to get another game that you want. So you always have those options. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Hopefully it'll help you and the people you share it with. And remember, head on over to our spring shop, link in the description below, where you can get all kinds of great red bandana gaming merch. Really help us out. Again, hitting that subscribe button helps too. Make sure you turn on notifications because we're getting a ton of new subscribers, but apparently you guys aren't getting notified or you guys aren't seeing my video. So make sure you hit that, uh, that little bell so you can at least get notified when I put up new videos like this. But thank you guys so much. Head on over to redbandanagaming.com. Follow us on our socials. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.